Okay, design. So first I wanted to show you how to pick your font for your typeface poster. So first you actually have to see what fonts are available to you in Canva. So I'm gonna to go to create design and I'm gonna put in um, custom dimensions. So the width is gonna be, uh, oop, and it's gotta be inches, 11 inches. Uh, the height's gonna be 17. And I'm gonna hit create new design. So this is going to be um, the size of your poster. And I'm gonna to go to text and I'm gonna hit add a heading and I just wanted to show you this list, okay? So this is all the fonts that are available for you to use in Canva to make the poster, all right? So when we get to the computer, you'll be able to um, download and then import ones, but at this time, you're only, you're kind of like limited to what's available here in Canva, okay? Just a reminder that you can only use sans serif and serif font so no script and no display and you'll be able to tell display because look at calgary here do you see how it's all in caps um or the sh the sh check or chic or whatever um those are display fonts you can't even get the underscore you know like the lowercase um minuscule so uh again make sure that you're picking a uh serif or sans serif so i'm gonna pick cooper hewitt um i think that's a really cool font and so what I'm gonna do next is I have to like actually go to the browser Safari or um, Chrome and I am gonna type out the uh, font. So I put Cooper Hewitt typeface and right away it gives me some information at the very top, but I actually wanna um, and make sure you include the word typeface, not just the font. Um, Cause like Cooper Hewitt is actually a, a a place, you know, and I don't want to talk about the place. I want to actually look up the font. So a great place, and you'll probably be able to find, uh, there's actually like three top um, places that you can find information about your font. Um, Typographica is really great, but you'll also see other ones kind of um, pop up that have information about uh, your, your font. So just make sure you put typeface when you're searching for it. I, I recommend Typographica. For most of these fonts, you'll be able to see it in this scroll down. So I'm gonna select it, and then this is gonna give me all that information that I need. So it says that the designer was Chester Jenkins. Um, it's saying it's a sans serif font, so now I know. <laughs> um, and then it's, it's telling me that um, it was created in 2014. And then I can actually take this very first um paragraph from here uh you know from this that's that's kind of what is important um so i can just actually take uh this and i'm just clicking and dragging uh and that's like enough you know just one paragraph and then i'm gonna hit copy um and then that's what i can bring into um my word document and that's um what i can bring into my poster uh, for that information. So it really just needs to be a, a paragraph. It doesn't have to be really long, but you're really just finding like, you know, a nice condensed uh, information about uh, the font. Okay. So um, that's how you actually find, you know, what fonts you can choose from and then um, how you, you know, you're going to look up the typeface, find out all that information, the designer, the year it was created, and just some information. You can also paraphrase kind of what's like in descriptions and stuff. Um, when I was in college, I actually got to do a project where um, we were given a typeface and we had to like hunt down a lot of information and write a, a paper about the typeface. And I actually like contacted this library and they're like, I have this like, they're like, we found this um, typographer's like, email address. Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah. And I emailed him. I'm like, did you make this font? Is this you? Like, do you have any information about it? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> like my professor gave me an A plus just because he could not believe that the typographer like answered me back and helped me find information about his own font. And I go, that's all I could get from him though. He just gave me this like paragraph about it. And I couldn't, you know, my paper wasn't very long, but I like, I stapled the email to it and he could not believe it. So that's my story for today. All right. <laughs>